Тільки-тільки повернувся з Покровська, ми на ньому перевезли близько тонни ваги. Маленький дрон – це теж дуже цікава річ. Там 40 кг посиленої вибухівки, робити невеличкий атомний взрив. Hello everyone, my name is Katrina Zakharchenko and I'm a journalist for the Kyiv Post. Today we are training on new ground robotic systems. Uh, we are training how to navigate it, how to use it in real, life, in real combat missions. Today we're taking you inside one of the most rapidly evolving corners of Ukraine's defense industry, unmanned ground vehicles. For the first time, Ukraine's military intelligence agency, HUR, opened its testing range outside Kiev to selected media, and Kiev Post got behind the controls of a real combat ground drum. Yes, it really does feel a lot like a video game. Ukraine's main intelligence directorate, HUR, is one of several players in the country's fast-growing and highly competitive UGV market. More than 200 private companies across Ukraine are believed to be building ground drones in one form or another. And it's not just industry. Ukraine's armed forces and at least 10 combat brigades are deeply involved in developing and deploying UGVs on the battlefield. One of worst contenders in this crowded field is the medium UGV platform called Legit, a six-wheel remote-controlled vehicle armed with a 50 caliber machine gun. And that's exactly what Kyiv Post got to test drive. We use this current technique to improve the situation in the current conditions of doing military actions. For example, this drone can carry weight 600 kg. Тільки-тільки повернувся з Покровська, ми на ньому перевезли от, близько тонни ваги. Ми е, вантажили на нього груз різного типу призначення і доставляли до хлопців, які безпосередньо знаходяться, е, скажу так, на позиціях в районі Покровська. Ми створили свій мобільний пункт керування, він може розташовуватись будь-де. В даному випадку ми ставимо його в автомобіль. Всюди, де є зв'язок з інтернетом, ми можемо керувати на любий, хоч з Києва, хоч звідки, хоч з Нью-Йорка, де є інтернет. Our first impression? The six-wheel Legit looks solid. Components are cleanly milled, and overall build quality seems excellent. Its wide, heavy wheels and high ground clearance appear well-suited for the muddy terrain so common in Ukraine. The 50 caliber machine gun sits in a Morena remote control turret about a meter above the ground, which protects the sensors from flying mud. The gun is mounted on rubberized shock absorbers and, although we didn't get to fire it during the test, the system looked robust. There's a single 50 round ammo box identical to those used by man machine guns. Reloading requires a human operator to physically replace the box. The main antenna sits above the roll cage protecting the turret. Another, likely backup antenna, is mounted on the rear. A HUR representative explained that the UGV usually fires from concealed positions two kilometers or more from enemy lines. Because of its size and mobility, it's generally difficult to hit with indirect fire. So now I have a chance to test uh, the robot system in real time. And you can see it. The driving test took place from a desktop control station inside an unmarked van next to the training ground. The operator sees forward and rear video feeds on the main screen, bright, clear, and easy to read. The controls are intuitive, WASD for movement, with immediate response both forward and backward. Turning felt surprisingly agile for a vehicle of this weight. Acceleration was quick, maybe a bit too abrupt for first-time operators, but the instructor said new drivers adjust quickly. Overall, maneuvering Legit feels easier than driving a car on the streets of Kiev.
Я вам хочу сказати, що деякі є дійсно аналоги, але те, що зараз робиться в Україні, це унікальні аналоги. Адже їх унікальність в тому, що це не просто машинки, які їздять безпілотно. Це наш досвід. Досвід, який закарбований життями і кров'ю українських солдат. Кожна ця машина. Тому я вважаю, що аналогів в світі зараз нема. Чому ми пішли взагалі в ці всі напрямки в НРК? Адже у нас не було іншого вибору. У нас менше людей, на жаль, аніж ворога. Ворог набагато більший, кількісно. І щоб компенсувати це, ми вимушені були робити саме роботизовані системи. Адже кожна така система – це заміна деякої кількості солдат наших. Це житті. Тому кожна така машинка, якщо ми б могли б їх масштабувати, наприклад, в величезних кількості, ми б могли замінити ну, бригади, не побачу цього слова, навіть наших, наших воїнів. І зберегли б житті наших воїнів, і отримали б реальну перевагу на деяких напрямках. І маленькі дрони, їх дуже легко доставити до передньої лінії, тому що вони не тяжкі. Його вага 110 кг, ми з вами будь-хто, вдвох можемо підняти. Зараз є система з чотирма гранатометами. Можна масштабувати їх там до шести, навіть восьми. Маленький дрон, це теж дуже цікава, цікава річ, адже він дуже швидкісний. Його швидкість там біля 30 км за годину. В нього дуже складно потрапити в ПВ, адже він юркий, маневрений, знову ж таки, швидкісний, непомітний. Він може працювати як камікадзе. До речі, на нього можна підвозити там до там, 40 кг посиленої вибухівки, робити невеличкий атомний взрив. Ну і всередині ви бачите дрон камікадзе на оптиковолокні. Це Унікальна річ, от те, що, в принципі, у світі цього точно нема, абсолютно. А, навіщо дрона оптика волокні? Для того, що він абсолютно, на нього не впливає будь-які системи РЕБ. Він не уязвим, він просто їде де завгодно, будь-які системи РЕБ на нього не впливають. І таким образом він може доїхати до ворога і підвести до нього ці подарунки. I'm standing in front, uh, or behind, I should say, of a uh, robot, a ground robot, uh, that is operated by the Ukrainian National Intelligence Agency, HUR. This particular robot is uh, designed to carry a machine gun, which you can see here. This is a, a Russian machine gun, a 30 caliber machine gun, and the purpose of this robot is to go to a point on the battlefield and shoot at something. The, uh, The design of this uh, particular robot is so that it doesn't carry uh, too much weight, but it's relatively small. That makes it maneuverable, and it makes it harder to hit by the main threat on the battlefield, which is uh, FPV drones. So this is right here a smaller weapon placed on a smaller drone, and uh, the advantages here are maneuverability and, of course, lower cost. The gun, a Belgian-made M2A1 Modus, is aimed either by keyboard or by mouse. Elevation range is roughly 60 degrees up to 20 degrees down. During a test zoom on a building 700 to 800 meters away, the system easily locked onto individual window quadrants or a tree trunk. Firing while moving is possible, but because of terrain and weapon weight, this is almost never used in practice. Right now I'm in front of a, a Rotel UGV carrier and mounted on top of that is the famous uh, M2 Browning 50 caliber machine gun. This is a powerful weapon that can hit the targets uh, up to six kilometers away and uh, destroy even uh, small armored or lightly armored vehicles. This is a powerful weapon and it uh, took some engineering to make it so that it can operate on top of this UGV. One of the things that I want to show you is that it's mounted on rubberized base, on a rubberized base, because the recoil from this weapon is so powerful 
that if it was just bolted down, it would affect the accuracy of the weapon. As you can see here, there are three different optics that uh, this, uh, are connected to this weapon. Uh, it's close range and uh, more distant is not nearly I can see. This uh, machine here probably all together, all in, cost north of $50,000. And losing it is not something that the Ukrainian military wants to do. And uh, one final point I'd like to point out, this, as I understand it, is a receiver so that this thing can communicate the way, the way they explained it to us. If they send a drone out into the field, it has to have four different kinds of communication. So for instance, Starlink, uh, telephone, radio, they don't send these things out just with one way of communicating. The Legit UGV looks promising, battle capable, and priced competitively for the Ukrainian market. However, purely based on specs, it doesn't dramatically surpass other UGVs in Ukraine equipped with machine guns. Where it may have an edge is in more advanced subsystems, thanks to Hoor's long-standing relationship with international suppliers. Hoor developed several ground drones, including the Legit, which was unveiled in June 2025. It comes in both wheeled and tracked versions. A base model costs between one and four million grivnas, that's 23,000 to 95,000 US dollars. Ukraine's battlefield tech ecosystem is expanding at breakneck speed, and the Legit UGV is a clear example of where ground combat may be heading. This was Kiev Post's first-hand look at the machine that could reshape how ground fighting is done.